guys so if you're watching this video then you want to know how i turned this basic chair into a baddie faux fur baby pink chair and this video i'm so excited about this diy i've been dying to feel it so let's go we're gonna start with the um, fur this is how it came i got this faux fur from amazon it's like fabric um and it was about like 20 to 25 dollars no more than 25 dollars i forgot but i'm going to link it below um the link and i am a clown <laughs> um but also you will be needing a staple gun and staples to go inside the staple gun um so I just start off by laying it flat on the chair and just making like positioning it how I want it to look um, and getting it all flat and then I uh, finish I mean then I go on to like I started by stapling the bottom like to secure it down first and you ha you are gonna have to do a lot of picking up the chair turning it over picking it up turning it over so that's just a little heads up and sorry you couldn't see exactly what I was doing here, um, but you will see. <laughs> also, I got the staple gun and the staples from Target. Uh, the staple gun was about, I don't know, like maybe $12. I don't even remember, but it was pretty, it was, it was affordable. And the staples, of course, were affordable as well. So I just start off by stapling down um, the bottom first. And then you could just watch what I'm doing here. Um, I was, I think I was listening to Ariana Grande. Seven, <laughs> seven rings are here. Sorry, I'm just the most. Um, it's kind of ridiculous, but um, then I'm just cutting off the excess. Girl, I got fur all in my hair. It gets, it gets messy. By the way, fur will be everywhere. That's just a little heads up. Um, but it's it's all good. Like you can just pick it up. It's fine. Um, and then I'm just cutting off the excess fabric as I go. And you can like do like little markings. You'll see throughout the video. I'm gonna be marking it and just take your time with this because especially with cutting it. See now I'm marking where I should be cutting it. Um, because when you cut, once you cut. It's gone. Like, well, honestly, not with this, cause you can you can easily just like staple in where it's not. But I didn't feel like doing all that. I want to do one and done. Um, so just be take your time. Like, it's it's, it's all good. It's gonna <laughs> it's gonna be fine. Um, also, um, this is my second time doing this chair. I've done this chair before. I did it a long time ago, like 2016. I did this chair, and when I posted it. Um, a lot of people were just like obsessed with it. They wanted to know, you know, they wanted me to start making them chairs. <laughs> and so I'm just really excited. I always knew that I wanted to, when I did start my YouTube channel, that this was going to be something that I would film for everybody. Because honestly, guys, those faux fur chairs at the store are so expensive. Here I'm just like um, cutting. You can just see what I'm doing. I'm just cutting off the excess and stapling it down. The process honestly is pretty repetitive. You're just like measuring it and like making sure it's going where it's supposed to go and then putting, I mean like stapling it down at the bottom of, this, um, of the chair and just um, lining everything up and cutting off the excess honestly. But um, these, these fur chairs are expensive at the store. They could run you about like $150. Um, they're really expensive at the store and you can just honestly make one yourself. Now my chair, I got my chair from Walmart. It was about like $75. I'll leave the link for the chair below as well. Um, but um, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> Yeah, it was about $75, but you can easily, this because this is the type of chair that I wanted, you can easily find a, a cheaper chair, and then this could be way less expensive, this DIY can be way less expensive than going to the store and paying almost $200 for a chair, or you could even get one of those little stools, that'll be even cheaper, because the stools, 
instead of like an actual chair a stool is about like $25 a regular leather I would also recommend you get leather um, if you're gonna do whatever type of chair or stool that you get get leather um, but yeah those could be like $25 and you get this that's a $40 chair boom when if you go to the store it's like 175 like way overpriced they're way overpriced um so here i'm just making sure that i staple on the edge not like don't staple on the fur because when i tried to staple on the fur i noticed that, that sometimes the staples wouldn't go all the way through but just make sure that you have a sturdy hand when you are stapling um the fabric on the chair and then also try to get towards the edge of the fabric like where the lining is and staple right there and that's basically pretty much what I do I'm just making sure that it fits well on the chair cutting out the excess and then stapling it down and it's just pretty repetitive <laughs> like going back and forth doing that um, but yeah they can be pretty expensive so yes this DIY is I'm really excited about it and I hope that you guys do it and try it out if you do try it then make sure you let me see and also you can get different colors sometimes the store they only have like white you know you don't really get like all these cute colors but like if you get fabric, you can get any color fabric that you want. Um, it doesn't have to be pink. And also, if you do like things like this, another good thing about doing a DIY is because one, like, see here, I'm like, sorry. Um, I'm like just making sure that it fits. I'm tucking it under the chair, making sure that it fits, flipping the chair over, and stapling down the fabric boom it's super it's honestly it's easy but it is time consuming because you want to make sure it fits the chair right and you want to make sure that you're stapling it right um but it is like doable but another alternative for doing a diy is honestly guys fabric it, i mean like these chairs they can get dirty especially like if you have like a makeup chair like these things can get dirty so if you spend $175 on this chair and I got you get a white chair for instance um, now you need to go buy another chair because the fabric is dirty now when all you have to do is if you're doing the DIY go get some more fabric and redo it like I think this alternative is just great but here I am still like stapling it down as I go Flipping the chair back over, cutting off excess because it was too much fabric to fit over um, the back of the chair. Um, but yes, I am going to link everything that I got, the chair, the fabric, um, down below. So you can get whatever color that you want, a lot of variety. Just cutting off the excess fabric. Yeah, so yeah, I told y'all on my channel it will be a lot of different content in 2019. So this is my first DIY, so I'm really excited. There are gonna be more um, DIYs in the future. If you know me, you know I'm like the DIY queen. <laughs> so there's gonna be a lot more DIYs on my channel a lot more new content so make sure that you guys are subscribed to my channel and make sure that you have your bell notification on so you know when i post and it's gonna be fun <laughs> we're gonna get it going this year um Excuse my hair, like it had been through some stuff, it had been through some times, <laughs> and also I changed clothes because this was over. This was a two, two, 
It's not a two day project, but when I first started it, I was super hungry. And after I I stopped to eat and after I ate, I was like, you know, you get the itis. So you're like, no, I just want to like lay down after I get bored, after I eat, you know, no. So that's why I have on like a different, that's why I have on different clothes and I started with. So here I am just drawing the line again. I'm just using it. I'm just using like a lip liner <laughs> to just mark where I should be cutting. And I'm just making sure that the ends meet each other and then stapling it down. Also, um, when you are stapling down the back from the front, make sure that you pull it all the way down. You're going to see it in a little bit. I'm going to show you. Or maybe not. But just make sure that you're pulling it all the way down and that you make sure that the seat is that the fabric is laying flat on the chair. Um, you don't want it to like have like space. So just make sure that it's really tight and that you're pulling it down all the way. Don't pull it to where you pull out the staples, but pull the pull the fabric all the way down and make sure that on the seat cover it lays flat and it's not a whole bunch of excess fabric and that just is going to make it look funny um, but here I am cutting off more of the fabric that is not needed and then I will be stapling this down Yeah, and then last time I did this, I had my sister help me, so it was a lot easier. This time I had to, like, <laughs> stand for myself. So. But yeah, just make sure on the seat part that it's just, like, laying flat. And that you have all the excess off. And also where you cut, try to cut on the fabric. Try not, I mean not on the fabric, try not to cut on the feather, on the fur, on the feathers or whatever. Try to cut like on the lining um, because it's just easier to cut on the lining than to try to cut through the fur. Also uh, staple on the lining, try not to staple on the actual fur. Um, and I'm just cutting off more of the excess and stapling it down on the bottom of the seat. I guess it's just easier to watch me than for me to talk, <laughs> but it's just all so repetitive. And also, when you cut, make sure you just like pull out all the egg, like all the loose feathers out, so that way, like later on down the line, it's not shedding for so long. Um, all the shedding will just be taken out if you go ahead and pull out all of the feathers that are loose, all the loose feathers, and just more stapling it down, we were kind of like to the end. See how I'm just like pulling it to make sure that it lays flat. I'm pulling the fabric as tight as I can to make sure that the seat cover, um, the part that covers the seat is really flat and that it's just like not, and that it fits the chair. Just making sure that it really fits the chair snug and that everything lays down seamless and flat. Um, and it's just the same step. So I'm just gonna let you guys watch. <laughs> and stop like rambling on because um, it's honestly pretty self-explanatory what we're doing here and it's repetitive as well so I'm just going to let you guys watch
like all in my hair it, it was everywhere i had my lip gloss it was getting stuck to my lip gloss my leggings looked a mess but yeah don't cock my hair either because that's not what this video is about so don't pay attention to that um but like i said this diy um is very um fun to do and also it gives you a lot of variety instead of buying a chair from the store for like almost $200 that is overpriced you can get whatever color you want you can switch it out you can switch it up and also um you don't have to get a $75 chair like I did you can get a cheaper chair you can get a stool like I said it's an alternative or a lot of you guys probably already have a chair so you really only have to get like the fabric the stapler and the staple gun and you probably already have a staple gun and staple as, as well too um but i really loved how it turned out this is the finished product it is so cute so bomb it is re nude <laughs> restored you can't even tell what it looked like before so I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you loved it. Subscribe to my channel and check out the other videos. And make sure that you um, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, and leave comments and let me know what you guys think. Also, if you do do this DIY, then make sure you let me see it, tag me, and I can't wait to see all your colorful, beautiful, baddie for fur chairs and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!